now it's chronic liver disease and uh, this is very 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 common case appearing in the PCS exam and you can expect while entering the station 1 uh, room you can expect that your patient for the abdomen he can have chronic liver disease okay so chronic liver disease can they can give in various ways and there are lot of signs which you need to see it's not necessary that all signs will be present in one patient few signs will be present about each organ like about there are some signs for the chronic liver disease to be seen in the hand some to be seen on chest some on face some on abdomen so a combination of signs can be there so you should know all signs for chronic liver disease you should know what to see on inspection what to expect on palpation what to expect on auscultation only then you can reach to the diagnosis and it can come in various ways they can give you it as like the command can be uh, patient uh, presented with yellow discoloration of the eyes kindly examine the abdomen patient presented with itching kindly examine the uh, abdomen patient exam presented with abdominal fullness kindly examine the abdomen and uh, patient presented with fatigue patient presented with weakness patient presented with tender abdomen so like this there can be a lot of commands so uh, you have to uh, you have to follow your scheme for the abdominal examination do not omit any step for examination and then you will reach to the diagnosis hopefully now this chronic liver disease they can give you as a simple chronic liver disease or you can get it with ascites without ascites you can get it as with the hepatomegaly with the tender hepatomegaly or as a splenomegaly you can get it as a part of hemochromatosis you can get it as a part of primary biliary cirrhosis okay so in various ways uh, they can give to you now what to see on chronic liver disease what signs to see on inspection first of all I will tell you on inspection while you are uh, uh, standing uh, on the foot end and uh, as always I emphasize that 30 seconds of initial inspection is very important okay start at the foot end and uh, your patient should be fully exposed like abdomen and chest because the inspection and examination of chest is also important and is also a part of uh, abdominal examination okay because a lot of like gynecomastia loss of axillary hair chest hair spider nevi bruises this all we need to see so if the usually patients are exposed if they are not exposed then you can ask examiner that I need full exposure okay so usually they are wearing gown and then they will remove it uh, and you can help patient to uh, to remove the garments okay uh, this will leave a good impression on the patient as well as on the examiner and after finishing examination please redress the patient this is very important redress the patient do not forget because you have finished your examination first patient was wearing garments and you ask him to remove patient remove now you finish your examination and uh, now you turn to the examiner while leaving patient like this naked so this is a this is very bad manners okay uh, it will leave bad impression on the patient as well as on the examiner kindly redress the patient after finishing your examination redress the patient and say thank you to him and then turn to examiner okay this is very important please these these are the ethics and you have to take care for these ethics while examining so that you can get full marks in the patient welfare so I was talking about inspection while you are uh, uh, standing on the foot end you will do inspection 30 seconds of inspection what you will expect you can start do not be haphazard you can start from one side and then move towards uh, in sequence whole body like first of all see the surroundings okay maybe they have kept some medication for chronic liver disease which is a clue maybe 
uh, they have kept some stick which shows or any crutches uh, like uh, if patient is having arthropathy for example in the hemochromatosis okay and uh, if you start from the face you can expect jaundice pallor uh, which can be in chronic liver disease you can expect xanthelasma which can be in primary biliary cirrhosis parotid enlargement and uh, wasting of wasting you can see from the temporalis uh, muscles kindly see the sites and if uh, it there is wasting then uh, it will be sunken okay so then you come to the hands and uh, see for any pulmonary thema any duputrans contracture you can see as well as you will know it 100% by palpating it okay and uh, leukonychia even you can appreciate clubbing if it is more marked and uh, then you inspect the arms for any scar mark for any bruises or, or any ecchymosis any needle prick marks any tattoos which again will show exposure could, could be due to hep B or hep C and uh, then you come to the chest and uh, examine the loss of hairs inspect for spider nevi and then come to the abdomen inspect for any abdominal fullness umbilicus whether this is in inverted or everted any scar mark any dilated veins okay so these are all things which you need to see on inspection so and there are a lot of signs which can be present like uh, as I mentioned in the hand there can be clubbing, leukonychia, pallor, pulmonary thema, duputans contracture, flapping tremor and uh, in the arms you can expect uh, in the abdomen station you have to see for the fistula as well in the renal but right now I am not talking about renal abdomen but you have to see on inspection and you you will see you can expect bruises ecchymosis any scar marks and uh, any tattoos any needle prick marks okay and uh, then face and chest uh, I have explained and abdomen inspection finding I told and then on palpation you will uh, you can uh, you have to ascertain whether it's tender non tender any visceromegaly any ascites okay so like this now your and also additional features if patient is having hemochromatosis then he can have um, tanning of the face and any scar mark for the arthropathy any chylonychia and any uh, diabetic prick marks okay while if it is primary biliary cirrhosis then you can expect xanthelasma as I explained and you can feel tendon xanthomas okay and uh, uh, as patients are having itching so you can see the scratch marks as well okay so now your patient can have as I explained before a combination of signs so you have to see what which signs your patient is having you have to elicit those signs uh, but in your mind these all signs should be there okay so that if you will know the signs then you will be able to appreciate and uh, so you have to appreciate you have to elicit which signs your patient is having and then you have to explain to the examiner accordingly like you will not explain all the positives and all the negatives uh, always finish your explanation your presentation within 30 seconds and uh, it should be professional and sleek and uh, uh, very much uh, to the point and only very important negative and uh, important positive you uh, you have to tell not you will start describing patient from head to toe okay there is no time and also they will cross you and they will say you come to the point doctor so you have to practice okay so now how you will present like uh, now I will present you one case 
uh, you will start your uh, presentation in the abdominal station every case of abdominal examination you will start your presentation by this I will like to complete my examination by examining external genitalia, external genitalia examining hernial orifices and doing parietal examination taking alcohol and viral history on examination of this gentleman I found that he is cachectic there is uh, on examination of the hand there is clubbing leukonychia and pomerary thema uh, with pallor pallor I explained from the face and uh, there are multiple spider nevi are present on the face and trunk and uh, with loss of body hair on examination of the abdomen abdomen is distended and uh, there is clinical uh, evidence of ascites as evidenced by shifting dullness I could not appreciate any visceromegaly or if it is there yeah, then you can tell so on the basis of this my diagnosis is patient is having chronic liver disease with uh, if there is splenomegaly then you can add that cirrhosis of liver with portal hypertension ok so like this you will present now if patient is uh, there uh, having a site now there are many things which I need to tell you please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you